This is a video on dimensioning and making sure that your sketch is fully defined. We're just going to draw some simple geometry here. Um, we're going to mention this at 2 inches by 2 inches. You notice I used a quick gesture. If you just hold down the right click on your mouse, these are some quick access to common features that you're going to use. So if I just drag up, then it gives me the Smart Dimension tool. I could also have clicked up here and had Smart Dimension. I'm going to draw a line off this point. Um, it'll continue drawing lines however you want, or you can right click and go to Select, and then it'll just leave the line that you had. We're going to dimension that line, and I want to show you how we can either do the length of the line, or if we come over here, we can do the distance between the lower point and the upper point by coming over here. We want the length of the line, so we're going to make this line two inches long. Now we're going to put it at a 45 degree angle. So we can click here, and click here, and then change that dimension to be 45. So now we have a line coming off of this. It's two inches long at a 45 degree angle. Next thing I want to do is I want to put a circle coming off over here. Now you notice that part of the sketch is black and part is still blue. The part that's blue isn't fully defined. I can move that around. I can't move any of this other around because it's defined to be where it's at. So when you finish a sketch, you want to make sure that it's fully defined and that everything is black. Otherwise, uh, things can change and do what you don't want them to do. So we'll go ahead and define this. We're just going to make it a 3 quarter inch diameter circle. Now if you wanted to put radius on here instead, you could come over here and switch to liters and select radius. And then if you do that, you get the radius, which is 0.375 and it's set up to round up right now. That's how you create a fully defined sketch with a few dimensions. Okay. You guys are good.